Hello and welcome to the TechLink Anaplan technical series video on security automation. My name is Sahil Iyer and I will be showcasing the ways and results of constructing security automation in Anaplan. You can view our previous video on security for the basic guidelines behind the function of security in Anaplan. With security automation, we can load in large sets of roles for many users without manual entry. Security helps to customize what a user is authorized to view in an Anaplan model. In this slide right here at the top, we have a matrix which we will discuss further along. And at the bottom, we have an example of a list that we can load in new employees onto a dashboard. We first have a dashboard with a matrix which allows the ability to designate roles for different regions in an organized fashion. As you can see, for different continents, we have specific user roles for differing sales occupations. For example, for a consultant in North America, their user role is Anaplan Developer L1. This can expedite the process when you have multiple users with the same parameters, but would like to change all of their user roles. For example, we have a sales rep in North America, and we like to change their user role to a sales manager. As you can see here, the designation for their security role was automatically changed. Next, we have the ability to add or delete an employee from our user database. This part of the dashboard will only be provided to those with authorization to add or delete an employee. As you can see, I've already entered in employees here for your viewing, but let's do one ourselves. Let's add an employee here. We'll call his name Chris. You can automate the email for an employee, but this isn't always identical for every employee, so we'll leave it as manual. As you can see, the security role automatically populates and will give him full access in North America. As you can see up top, after refreshing, we have our employee that we entered in automatically entered in here. This top table can be used for those who don't have full authorization to enter in and add a new employee but they have authorization to view the list of employees. Next, we'll run our process to bring all these names into our users. Now, as you can see here, we have our full employee list loaded into our users page. This process can greatly expedite the security process for an extensive amount of users. Our final demonstration is we will show how selections in the users tab can change what a user can see in the model. For example, we will use my own user account for this demonstration. As you can see now, the employee list is under selective access, so different parts of the security automation dashboard will be affected by what we select for my own user. For example, if we would allow for a user to view this part of the dashboard, but not be able to edit directly within the dashboard, we can go to my user and change the ability of the write to the read. And now you will see the parts of this table are uneditable. The same goes for our security demo dashboard that refers to our matrix. If I change my user role, to all the Anaplan developers. And then I change for an Anaplan developer from write to read. You'll see how now in this dashboard, I can't edit the parts of the matrix. Lastly, if you would like to hide that part of the dashboard altogether, you can remove all abilities on the bottom edit employee data and the user will not even be able to 
view any part of the employee list or any of the employees. My name is Sahil Iyer from TechLink International, and thank you for joining us on our Anaplan technical series video on security automation.